Hello my dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel that is learning and programming with Chetan. In our previous video, we have discussed that how we can inject a dependencies by using setter method. Now in this particular video, we will see that how we can inject a dependencies by using constructor method. So for injecting the dependencies by using constructor method, here I have created a project with the name constructor based dependency injection. And inside our project, I have created and three different bean classes. So this is our first bean class with the name address and our address class is having three different properties with the name city, state and country. And all these three properties is of type string. And here you can see that we have defined and parameterized constructor for our address bean with three different properties as city, state and country. And inside the constructor, we are assigning the values to the properties which we have defined for our address bean. Friends, here you can notice that we have not defined any setter method for our address bean and our address bean only consists of constructor. So in constructor based dependency injection at runtime, our JVM uses the constructor to assign the values to the various properties of a bean. Similarly, I have created one more bean with the name subject. And the subject bean is having one property with the name subject name and it is of type string. And here also you can see that we have defined and parameterized constructor for our subject class. And inside our constructor, we are assigning the value to the property which we have defined for our subject bean. And I have also created one more bean with the name student. And inside our student bean, we are having an rule number property which is of int type. And it consists of a student name which is of a string type. And in these two statements, you can see that we are having an subject property which is of type subject class and address property which is of type address. So here we are using an has a relationship and our student bean is dependent on subject bean and address bean. So friends, in this particular video, we are trying to learn that how we can inject our dependencies for primitive data types, for string or wrapper classes and for dependent objects. Now here I have defined and parameterized constructor for our student bean and inside a parameterized constructor we are passing four different properties with a name roll number student name subject and address and inside a parameterized constructor we are assigning the values to the various properties of our student bean now let us try to understand that how we can inject our dependencies by using constructor method so for understanding this concept i have created an configuration file so this is our configuration file and inside our configuration file we are having an bean definitions so this is the bean definition which I have defined for our address bean. So this is the ID of our bean that is address bean and this is the fully qualified name of our address bean which we have defined by using a class attribute. Now friends here you can see that for injecting a dependency by using constructor method we are using a tag with the name constructor argument and we are using an value attribute of our constructor argument tag to define the value of our properties which we have defined inside our bean so inside our address bean you can see that we are having three different properties with the name city state and country so inside our bean definition we are defining the values of our properties by using constructor argument tag so at runtime when jvm initialize the bean then jvm will call the constructor of our address bean and by using this constructor arguments it will assign the values to the various properties of our address bean Similarly, this is the bean definition for our subject bean and here we have used a constructor argument and we have defined its value as English. So at runtime JVM will call the constructor of our subject bean and the value which we have provided for our constructor argument tag will be assigned to our subject name property. And here you can see that this is the bean definition for our student bean. And inside our bean definition, we are using an constructor argument tag and we are using the value attribute to assign the values for our primitive data types. And here I am assigning the value as Chetan to our student name property, which is of type string. And here you can see that how we can inject our dependencies for our dependent objects. So here I am using an constructor argument tag. And for injecting the dependencies for our dependent objects, we can use a reference attribute of our constructor argument tag. So this subject bean is the value which we have provided for our reference attribute. And this is the ID which we have provided for our student bean definition. 
and we can also use and reference tag for injecting the dependencies for a dependent object so this is the bean attribute and its value is address bean and this is the id which we have provided for our address bean definition and friends for testing our application i have created an test class and inside a test class we are having an main method so friends in this statement you can see that we are defining an abstract application context ioc container by using its implementation class that is class path xml application context and this is the name of our configuration file that is application context.xml so at runtime all the bean definitions which we have provided inside our application context will be initialized by ioc container now in this next statement you can see that we are using a get bean method of our application context and here we have provided the name of our bean that is student bean and this is the id which we have provided inside our application context bean definition that is student bean so in spite of creating an object of our student bean we are requesting an ioc container to return the object of our bean class and in next statement we are calling the student details method which we have defined inside our student class and inside our student details method we are printing the values of all the properties which we have defined inside our student bean now let us try to run our program so friends in console you can see that we are getting our output and our student name is coming as chetan so this is the value which we have defined inside our student bean by using our constructor argument tag and our roll number is coming as 10 and this is the same value which we have defined inside our student bean and our subject name is coming as english so here inside our student bean definition by using an reference attribute we have defined an student bean property and inside our student bean we have defined the value of its property as english and friends in our next statement you can see that we are getting the values for our address bean properties that is city as jaipur and state as rajasthan and our country as india so friends i hope that you are able to understand that how simply we can inject a dependencies for primitive data types and for a string or wrapper classes and for dependent objects by using constructor based dependency injection and friends if you are having any doubts then you can write your queries in comment section